everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I'm going to share a little video with you, and it's, I mentioned Farmer G in it, because his boys like to play in the dirt. Well, I like to play in the dirt, too, only I didn't get dirty. So, this is that little clip. Farmer G's kids and I would get along well. Look at my worm! Cute little worm. There he is. He's going to the chickens. <laughs> he says, oh please don't feed me to the chickens. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I gotta shovel a little more before I try to get it. There's two of them here. Here you go. Have a worm. Want another one? There you go. There they all go. I know some of you are going to say, you actually pick up worms? Yes, I do. In fact, when I was in school, I used to um, save the worms off the sidewalk. In the morning, there was always a heavy dew, or if it had rained the night before, you know how this, the worms start to cross the sidewalk and you know they're never gonna make it to the other side because now it's daylight. And, the, and it's getting dry, and pretty soon the birds will be coming along and picking them off. So I would, if I saw a worm that was struggling or was still alive, I used to pick it up and throw it in the grass. And the teacher that I had, she used to squirm every time because she didn't like bugs. Then there was also those little, we used to call them potato bugs, but the kids all called them roly-polies, and that's what everybody else called them. So I guess they're roly-polies. They're that little bug that when you pick it up, it rolls into a ball. And if you hold real still for a long time, that little bug will open up and start to crawl again. Well, we used to call those potato bugs. And I think we call them potato bugs because we used to find them by the, or on the potatoes. When I was gardening, I used to see them. I was watching, um, I guess I do have stuff to say. <laughs> Every day I say, what am I going to talk about? Well... I was watching, um, someone was, I don't know who I was watching, but they were finding those tomato worms. And they're nice and fat and juicy. And we used to go around and we used to pluck them off the leaves and put them in a can. Well, I was thinking as she was showing them, my chickens would really love those, those worms. I can't remember who I was watching. That was the other day. I've watched a few other people that I don't normally watch. I watched their videos. And I um, did another Tunisian washcloth. This time I tried to close it the way they show how to. It's the Kitchener close, I, closure, I think is what they called it. It's not real easy. It's where you, you pretend you're knitting. Knit off pearl. Pearl off knit is what you kept saying in your head. And you're supposed to end up with the right number of stitches. And it's supposed to be like you're knitting the the piece together. Well, I did it, and it looks pretty good, but it could be better still. 
And I did one that was really horrible, and I threw that one away because that one was so bad, I'm not even going to show you. I don't even want it around for anybody to see. So I threw that one out. Well, I hope you all had a great day. I had a good day. It's been, it was warm outside, but cold in the house. And I had a sweater on most of the day, except for when I was outside in the sunshine. It was beautiful in the sunshine. Well, I hope you all had a great day. I think I said that already. Mm -hmm. Well, have a great day and a great <laughs> night. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.